This is a perfect. Perfecto. Perfecto. All right, so it's a new day, and now we're going to a dog show, and we wanted to see French bulldogs, so we have to and go in. not only Frenchies, French bulldogs and Newfoundland. So we had to go in a bit early today. So it's it's eight oh five right now. So we had to wake up at like seven. So. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you all excited? What? Why are you all excited? Why? Yeah. Dude, I'm going to the first American dog show in my life. Oh, uh, really? It's the first American one? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's my first time, right? Yeah. And, you know, I just actually recorded a truck driver, so, yeah. I mean, it's... And he, he didn't, you know, pull up his gun, whatever. Did he look at it? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I hope he didn't. <laughs> Oh my god, school bus! <laughs> oh, hey, I didn't, I didn't see that before. <laughs> Ludzie, to nie jest fikcja. Naprawdę te autobusy istnieją i jeżdżą po ulicach. Dużo osób myśli, że to jest tylko kwestia e, filmów. Natomiast nie, no to, to jest prawdziwe. That's where we're going. Właśnie dojechaliśmy na wystawę psów. To jest ten teren. Teraz będziemy wjeżdżać i zobaczymy. Jak to wygląda? Będziemy zdawali relacje. Uh, you see all those RVs? Yep. Jeez. So, back to your question. We don't have buses in Poland like that, school buses, but... You just take the regular city bus. Yes, but if students are living in remote places, there is just like one bus driving in all the students. What if the kid is young? Probably... Uh, they ride the, school, the city bus? I mean... Here, that's not a thing because the fucking kid would be like kidnapped, basically. Yeah, I mean, in Poland, basically, I think it's either parents or somebody who takes care of the kid during the time when parents are working, uh -huh. or they have to go to school on their own. Uh, okay. Yep. That sucks. So now uh, the judge is choosing the best of breed winner. I don't really know how, um, how, I mean, what are the rules in the US for, for that, but in Poland, in Europe, um, it would have to be the best male and the best female. So in Poland, uh, the competition would be between the two dogs, best male and best female. I don't know how it works in the US, so we're gonna find out. I guess that's my favorite one so far on the table. Can you just feel the balls? Yeah. They feel the balls. Yeah, the judge has to check if the male has two testicles. What? Uh, yeah, oops. You distracted me talking about balls. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, so far, I mean, we, we've seen like a couple of breeds and to me, uh, in US, dogs are definitely uh, better movers. Mm. They move better compared to Europe. Not sure how it applies to new as in, as in they're faster? No, I think it's just the general impression. Okay. And they have, you know, like more class, more elegance in movement. It's smoother, in my opinion, and sounder too. But I'm not sure how it works with newfies because, uh, like, people, breeders all over the world say that in the US, actually, the quality of Newfoundlands kind of drops over, you know, like, over the years. So we're gonna see. I'm excited to see newfies soon. Yeah. Alrighty, so we just stepped out the ring um, for the dog show. We're just taking a brush of fresh air and then we're gonna come back, watch the Newfoundlands. What do you think of the show? So far, so great. Mm -hmm. um, I can see a lot of differences between dogs in the US and dogs in Europe. Um, first of all, it's the way people show their dogs. I mean, the handling is totally different, much better here. Uh, another difference. I think dogs here in general have better movements, so that's what I actually mentioned before. Uh, so, I mean, I can't wait to see my beloved breed. We're gonna see them in a couple of minutes. So, her entire family pretty much breeds Newfoundlands, and that's kind of her thing, and she's always done it since she was a kid. Dog so, yeah, so I guess now I'm sort of going into this dog business thing, and it's kind of good. Yeah. You have to be weird to be into this, trust me. You have to be weird. <laughs> but good weird. Yeah. Good yeah. weird. Yeah. <laughs> wow. How old do you think that is? I guess the dog is around. I mean, that's adult. I would say like 
It's a, look, it's almost taller than its owner. <laughs> Alright, so that was pretty much it for the dog show. Now we're gonna go to some burger place in Baltimore that has good reviews, so... This is like a Canadian dish, it's called poutine. It's just gravy and fries. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> Good. Awesome. <laughs> but it tastes great. Wow. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the burger place. It was awesome. It was good. Kind of pricey, but... It's it was, approved. Yeah, it was pretty decent. And it was my first time eating this, so... Yeah. Great. Yeah. Um, and I haven't had poutine in forever, so... Um, now we're just going to drive through the harbor in Baltimore. And... That's it. I don't think we're not gonna walk around or anything. We're just gonna drive through it. So yeah, but I want to get a tiny experience here. So uh -huh. and then after driving through there, we're gonna make pierogies, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. stay tuned. Out of the car. Welcome to Baltimore. Oops. What? <laughs> I just zoomed in uh, on this guy here. <laughs> are you zooming in on the black people? Yep. Why? Because they're so unusual for Polish people. So see right here? Yeah. This is the harbor. That's the harbor. Yeah. Wow. Say wow. Wow. Oh my god, I've never seen that before. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Oh my god. So I mean, this is like the nicest part, part of Baltimore. Yeah. Other than that, not really the safest city. Let's be honest, it's trash. <laughs> time to complain. Poll time. time to go, <laughs> yeah. Time. Give me some poll time, okay? Yeah. <laughs> That's a baseball place, he says. Yeah, it's the Orioles, famous baseball. And over here, the MT Stadium, that's where the Ravens play. Baltimore Ravens, which is like, you know, no one knows football, American football, I'm sure, but it's a big thing here. Mm hmm. I mean, we know that's a big thing for you guys. Yeah. You know, for for us, for polls. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe some people are interested. I don't know, but that that's not not you know the big thing. Yeah. Definitely. What do you think of Baltimore? Uh, definitely not my favorite <laughs> city in the US. Yeah. I mean, that's a nice skyline. That's it. You know. <laughs> but um. I think Washington DC was my favorite so far, then New York City, then um, Annapolis, <laughs> and then Baltimore. Finally we got to the point where we can start preparing pierogies after the entire day of waiting. <laughs> yep, pretty much. So, uh, pierogi time. Okay, so... The recipe calls for one onion, but Adriana is saying that compared to Polish standards, this is almost like two onions, so we don't it's really huge. know what to do. Yeah. It's almost like watermelon. Yeah, so I don't know, I guess we're gonna use this entire thing, or maybe three quarters of it? I don't know. So now we're adding white cheese to potatoes. And after that, we'll add some onions and pepper and salt. Look at this dough roll. Yeah, yeah. This is great. Look at, look at that, how cool is this? <laughs> uh, with the leftovers, you're just gonna, you know, make... Re-roll. Yeah, re-roll. So we're preparing um, the topping, I would say. So that's bacon with onion. Uh, so it's gonna go on the top of pierogies, but first of all we have to get the pierogies done. Rolling with Polish love. That's the perfection. We're just starting to film now. I don't deny this perfect. This is the perfect. 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 Okay, so now we're putting them in the water. One, two. The first part is done and looks good. They actually remind me of real Polish pierogies, so that's how, how they should be. 
Uh, now we're gonna check them out and see how they taste like. Much bigger than normal size. Yep. That's the American way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. They're so good! Mm -hmm. Oh, Borja. Oh, Borja. <laughs> Alright, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I know it's kind of been pretty random with like Polish Market, Dog Show, making uh, pierogies, and you know. Visiting Baltimore. Yeah, it's been pretty random, but it's kind of like a damn life for us, so yeah. The past two days were so intense, and we wanted to show you a bit of everything. Yeah. So. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Dziękuję i do widzenia.